Hello friends, hello subscribers. Today I want to show you a trick how to remove object from video. Exactly this object. And this is one of technique which I use often. This technique not require use tracker because we will use not paint. Exactly we will use copy polyline tool. This icon, copy polyline tool. And important information, this method uh, that I'm going to show you will not always work and sometimes you will have to use a tracker. But today, without tracker, today we will use not paint and tool, copy polyline tool. So let's get started how to do it, how it works. Okay, friends, the first, of course, we choose copy polyline tool so paint copy polyline tool and at the beginning work i don't connect my footage with paint the first i draw shape and i'm trying to outline all object i mean object with these shadows this shot, this video shot is difficult to this technique because object is big and we have other light in this area and in this area. So it means this area is brighter and this area is darkness and I show you why this is problem. But next, the first I draw shape, I'm in first frame and Add keyframe, right click here for shape animation. Then for example, I go to 50. I adjust my shape, my out, my polyline, sorry. I adjust my polyline to my shape and this shadow, something like this, maybe 100. For example, if your polyline is height, select paint, go to modifiers and click in copy polyline your polyline again is visible adjust corner maybe 140 something like this maybe 200 frames is okay i check that my polyline is fit to my shape is okay and now next step is connect footage with not paint so now i connect my footage with paint paint in viewport and now we we must copy information from maybe from this place to this place why from this not this because in this area is um, this light is brighter and in this place is darkness so it means if i copy information from right side look we have big difference with light Ctrl Z, if I copy information from this area, I think will be better. So copy from this, something like this. It's better, but not perfect because we have this um, visible sharp edges. So we add softness 0.05, for example, for example, is, I know it's not perfect, but uh, this object is too big to this technique, but I want to show you this method. Uh, remember, use this technique, for example, to small object, for example, to remove logo, uh, something small, okay? Next step. We are in frame first. I also add keyframe in this, in this tab, source. And we check how it looks. Something like this. 
in this place we have problem we see difference so what I need to do maybe change position is not bad and uh, this 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 fragment is not good and here but for example if you want to adjust better this area you may add second paint and now I again the first choose copper poly tool I draw this shape this area and I'll mix this area with this area and I think and I think it will be okay because I a little change opacity and I add more softness so add keyframe we try to adjust position okay so for example something like this and now I connect this with this and I copy information from this to my outline so of course Y position this information it mean I copy from this so maybe I change this corner and now I add more softness and change a little opacity something like this and I change opacity of course you 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 must check uh, how your polyline is adjust to shape this is very important this is a little handmade I think it's okay I think it's okay so remember in this technique you may add first polyline so for example this paint it will be remove 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 my friends light switch and second paint it is remove uh, difference uh, difference light sorry my English is not perfect something like this so using this technique you may remove object without tracker I think it works so thank you very much for watching I will be glad if you subscribe my channel leave a comment and so see you in the next tutorial my friends